Good morning. Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa, we got our other two batteries in, our 12 volt, 2 kilowatt amp hours. And these were the ones that we had. And we actually have a three year warranty. So we put the date of when we received these. We received these on 6, 2022. And on these two, we received on 12, 2022. So we had this set up. I had to buy this extra, the series cable to make this from 12 to 24. And it actually is an Anderson quick disconnect and it connects right here to my 24 volt system. I have the second one here and I had it connected yesterday. I had the exact same thing here connected to these two and I had them charging up and then I discharged them overnight. And this is what I have left over is 13.1, 13, 13.1, 13 and 13.1. So what I was able to do was I was able to take and use this 48 volt. This is in series. We got number one, two, three, four. These will plug in to the fronts of all four of these and make it 48 volts. And then this plugs in to this one that to that Anderson connection right there and then that goes to your bus bar so today we're going to be wiring this up where we're going to change this over from being wired like that straight to the bus bars to where we're going to put these on here we're going to put one of these on this battery bank and one of these on this battery bank and they'll connect like they are right here this is for this one right here this for this one right here so that'll parallel those 248s together and then this will connect to this and this one will be the only thing that's connecting to that rather than those two so we'll be able to have a quick disconnect on our battery banks and we can disconnect it from our bus bar as well. And then we have this middle extension. So we'll be able to roll this out away from the wall a little bit more if we want to keep it connected. Or if we want to just disconnect it, we don't have to get the wrench out. And we don't have to disconnect these bolts down there. Now, one of the things that I did was, while I'm looking at this, I made these bus bars here. Because I couldn't find any reasonable price. I went and bought a uh, three-quarter inch copper tubing for your plumbing, for your water to go through. And I took a ball-peen hammer and I put it on the ground and beat it down flat. And let's see, got some over here. I uh, bought like six or eight foot sections and I just beat it down flat and then I measured what I needed the length and I trimmed them with a pair of tin snips and then I put holes in them as I had these connected before when I was putting four 12 volts in parallel for a 12 volt system I had these and then when I started going to a 24 volt or a um here we go. Um, 24 volt system. We had them like this. So I could connect them like this right there. Now, when I put this together, I made new bus bars so that they would be, the batteries be closer together rather than push them far apart. Because these are just hanging over slightly on the edge here when I redid this battery bank. And all I did was I took some... Uh, red and black electrical tape put it on there so that if some metal touched this or one of these touched that over there it wouldn't short it out and i wouldn't get a spark the other thing i did was these are the actual caps on the end of 
our connectors right here those go right on there over the wire and they give you a watertight seal on that so i had some of those extra from just having to change some out in that and instead of having this exposed like this where i could short it i just took these and they'll actually just press and you actually need two hands they'll just press on there like that and they're pretty sturdy on there there you need to really use some force to get those off because there's threads on there but those are all extra so i was able to keep that from being able to short out on me doing that and that helped out a lot but just want to let you know when i got these batteries delivered yesterday they came in these boxes and each one of the batteries came with this cable which is this right here so this connects to your bus bar right here connects to the bus bar on the wall there and then this will connect to whatever battery bank you have and in this case it's going to be right here for our 48 volt um, battery bank system that we're going to make for that now when it comes in this box, you open it up and you have to take off this styrofoam. This is two inch thick all the way around and it completely covers the top half of that battery bank. And then it's in a plastic bag and then you've got the other half down there. So this thing is completely, if you put that in there, you'll see that it's completely covers that battery um, so that even if it gets rough handled, it's not going to get damaged. And I've bought four of these now, and I've had no problem with any of them showing up in great shape. So when I got these yesterday, like I said, I think, that, I think this one was 12.9, and this was 13. So. They do take a couple of days to try and balance out. And I still will get where, like here, it's 13.1. And right there is going between 13 and 13.1. So that's fine. It always stays usually within a volt or a, one, a point 0.1 or point 0.2 of the volt. So just want to let you know about those batteries showing up. And what we're going to do, we're going to try and move these batteries over from here to here connect this up this one will actually go to our battery bank for the lithium iron phosphate and this set down here will actually be for the agms for the anderson quick disconnect and then i'll do a video on that when we get that finished so i just wanted to do a quick video please like share subscribe and you can find me on diy solar power with papa off-grid projects or diy solar guy on youtube hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day and we will see you in the next video